Hey, welcome back to Streamline Entertainment. It's your boy Marvin. Um, we're going to get straight into a video. Alex Jones um, tells Blair White how he really feels about trans people. So we're going to get straight into the video and I'll comment um, as we go because this is going to be an interesting one. Appreciate you, fellow Austinite now. Lived here a few years. Great to have you here. You and Michael Malice and Joe Rogan, you know, co-hosting, doing a great job. We co-hosted here about a year ago with the Tim Pool. That was amazing. Was so fun. And so I just want to say this up front. There are people that watch this show, and it became a big issue a few months ago, saying Jones is a hypocrite. He hates transgender people. He hates gay people. He hates everybody. But then he's nice to Blair White. That's all a media lie. I don't care if you're heterosexual, homosexual, whatever you are, black, white, old, young, as long as you're not a communist, as long as you're not targeting children. And Blair, since I've known Blair eight years, was speaking up about this targeting. That Blair's a good person. Before anyone else, by the way, like before it was a national topic, before, you know, every head. My view is, I've, I've talked about this, I've, I've got a couple of Blair White videos out there um, at the end of the day. I think she's um, uh, basically got a brilliant channel out there and uh, basically is trying to get the message across. Um, if that's being trans, if that's the way you want to live your life and you're happy with it, I say, say fair play. As long as you're not hurting anybody or, um, you, you know, uh, abusing children at the end of the day, um, basically I'm happy the way people w want to live their life. If you want to go down that route, Sometimes people may have something or against it at the end of the day, but I look like it. I look at it in the way it's not affecting um, um, my life. I think we live in a bit of a free world, and it's becoming an everyday thing now. In what you want to be, I mean, we're living in two thousand twenty-three now. We're not living in the nineteen seventies anymore or eighties. Headline was about trans kids and which states are banning whatever. I was talking about this forever ago, so. So let's talk about you instead of me ranting here. I just, I just want to say you've been my friend, uh, you know, good, good friend since you moved to Austin. Part of this is we see a 270 pound man who looks like a look, looks like Hulk Hogan, hey. and he starts breaking stuff, saying it's ma'am. We see that as a fraud. He's a former prisoner. He's a convict. He's doing this because it lets him be in general population with women. That's a fraud. But we see somebody that has transitioned and it, it, a woman by every aspect and i think people kind of like get like okay somebody made that decision because that is actually what they were what they were and, and then people can realize if it's not attached to a political thing we don't hate you we, we then go oh that makes sense i think that video that they actually showed at the end of the day um was obviously a guy dressed as eve as a trans um, it was all over the internet, that clip they just showed. You, you know, you can find her out there. <laughs> it's quite comical because um, he was shouting, you know, don't call me he, did, you know, call me ma'am, call me ma'am. And it was, it was, I shouldn't laugh, but it was a bit comical because obviously the trend uh, went right um, off his head um, at the end of the day. But I do think the shopkeeper was actually winding him up a little bit, but it was comical. Blair White, you know, looks like a woman is a woman compared to what these what these giant men are who just want to be in general population with women in prison. Right. And that's the unfortunate part is that we have this society that is obsessed with tolerance at all costs, obviously, and inclusion of all at all costs. And so there are literal, you know, convicts and people who commit crimes, sometimes violent ones, that understand that at the very least, them saying all of a sudden that they're trans is going to maybe not get a sentence reduction, but it's gonna place them in a little bit of a nicer prison, it's gonna place them in a little bit of a nicer situation. And you know, a lot of them are also, that's the other thing, okay, if we wanna go deep, there's, there's really several types of trans people, trans. There are people who felt that way from a very young age and then whatever, like me. And then there are people who do it for a fetish and it's like a sexual thing. And those ones are very different. Those are the ones that like, there's gonna end up being- They're the perverse of the bathroom. 100%, 100%. Whereas for me, you know, there was nothing ever sexual about it. It was just about who I was and what I wanted to do. Do, do you, I mean, you, you, you I, mean, I would say like, you put you in front of 10,000 people, they say that's a woman. Do you think it was the chemicals that, 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 because we know the studies are there that embryonically put you that direction? Uh, I'm not writing it off. I mean, I've thought about it a lot. I think like, okay, so what 
caused this because it's clearly it was it, it's quite a funny situation um because i've got a friend who knows um a thai trend and uh basically and he was told that um he woke up well not woke up should i say but you know from an early age say five or six he knew that um he didn't want to be a boy and he has so many feminine traits so i guess that is what it is at the end of the end just decided to be a woman got breasts um uh, um, takes a lot of hormone treatments at the end of the day and he just told me the story so but i got the gist of what he was saying is that it is what it is if she if he thinks he's a woman and wants to be grown up um, um seen as a woman then it is what it is well a tr um sort of a trend i completely understand it an anomaly right even at best you know the trans community but we shouldn't be mad at you for that this is who you are Right. I mean, a society has room for anomalies. I think the problem is when you try to make anomalies um, normal. In by definition, it's not normal. Whoa, that is, that is heavy. Exactly. I don't hate the anomaly that's obviously legitimate. I hate a forced thing on right. our children. Right. They can understand that a society is always going to have anomalies. There's going to be people that don't fit into certain expectations and the disarray comes when you try to normalize it to the extent of teaching it in schools, putting it in curriculum. You know, uh, it's one thing to teach your kids that when they, you know, as they go through life, they're going to see people that are different than them or, or gay or trans or whatever. It's another to be like, so what do you identify as to a four year old? Like, that's nuts. You know, it's 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 planting a seed of doubt. It, certainly, um, I think it definitely will confuse a child that is normal at the end of the day, or a child who maybe is a little bit older than that and, you know, is a, you know, is a boy and wants to be girly at the end of the day. Um, I suppose being young and, and, and understanding what you want to be is very, very difficult, I think, these days. I think when it comes out, I think you, can, you grow older, you can learn to live with it. But I think at first, Jesus, it must be um, something else. So, you know, being anomaly isn't normal. And I don't think not being normal is a bad thing. Like, you're not normal. I'm definitely you're, not. You're... We know the chemicals in the water and the food are affecting embryos in their mothers, particularly in the first few weeks, that are changing, at least in brain physiology, the minds of children. And it changes the minds of frogs, fish, other mammals. So, so it, it really is true that that's going on and that that is that is happening and, and and so when i first talked about this decades ago they would attack me all over the news because they were really scared that i was pointing it out but now robert f kennedy jr has talked about it and so much more so we're not saying people are bad because of of, of the, the the proclivity of of what has happened in a genetic mutation in the embryo because all embryos for those who don't know starts out as female and in the first few weeks it then shifts and then expresses it's why men have nipples uh it, it, it's 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 literally we start out as a female this is all mammals do and then if the, it, it depends on the xy chromosome we shift over to that they are literally knowingly putting chemicals out that do this so we have to understand this has been done we can't hate the people it's been done to it's up to them to decide now what they want to do but the system then coming after children, mentally ill children, autistic children that, that aren't showing the 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 the, the, the genetic uh, event to then target them is, is part of something larger that I see as the sterilization of children. And, and that's really what they admit this is, is the popularization of sterilizing children. That's why they need to become adults like you did. They need to make a decision as an adult. So I'm gonna shut up. That's pretty deep stuff, um, to be honest with you. And sometimes we don't look um, at um, sometimes obviously the food we now want's going into it. Um, there's definitely seen um, a change in pattern, just about what um, Alex Jones um, was saying there. But um, it is deep, deep stuff. And sometimes you have to make time to sort of look into it and think, Jesus, what the hell's going on here? Because it, it does make sense.
up because I'll talk forever, but I watch your show all the time. You're just as well-spoken as I am when I'm not interrupting. So I'm going to shut up uh, for the next 10 minutes, Blair. Yeah, so, you know, obviously it's one of the things that I get the most backlash for is my stance on trans kids and how there is a social contagion happening. There is a, you know, media-fueled, government-fueled push to, you know, put kids through this pipeline of sterilization, of surgery, of hormones, and it's just so crazy to me because, you know, like I said earlier, I transitioned as an adult. This is a conclusion I came to that that was right for me. I'm all about you know, individualism and bodily autonomy and just doing what's right for you. And uh, unfortunately, these kids aren't doing what's right for them in almost every case. It's what's being told for them to do. You know, uh, there's a very sick and twisted lie that is told to the parents of these kids and to the uh, kids themselves, which is that, you know, I'm sure you've heard like, do you want a trans kid or a dead kid is what they say. And it's like, why would you put that dichotomy, that false dichotomy in front of these kids? Transition or you're dead. Right. You're, you're, you're putting that in their head. You're making them feel like those are their two options. And frankly, I mean, any person, any human being who is, you know, concerned at all, whether subconsciously or consciously with self-preservation and living, they're going to choose a tr to be trans over dead. So, you know, it's, it's brainwashing. And I wish I fully understood why... The government has been pushing it as well, because I understand why the media would. You know, they're very obsessed with wokeism. They're very obsessed with latching onto groups. And nothing really gets, you know, clicks like the trans either. So, so let me ask you this. Right. Let me ask you this then. What is it like to watch giant biological men <laughs> in boxing and MMA and swimming in in track and field in, in everything, literally beating the snot out of biological women? I've heard you talk about it. Like they're hijacking and saying you represent them. You don't support that. No, no, no. It's 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 pretty crazy because that's just unfair, um, to be honest with you. But like I said, um, it's seen as a um, a, a contest, but a, a contest, but a very very unfair um, contest. I think we. I personally think we're living in a world where there's a lot of changes, and um, there is. Um, a lot of different trans people out there and um, that make their feelings known who they are and what they represent and it, 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 it's fair enough um, obviously sometimes people which are normal don't like change at the end of the day but like I said the whole world is changing so quickly in many 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 different ways and we're just going to have to get um, used to it it's like I said so it's, you know uh, I am open-minded and see it as it is at the end of the day. You know, I wouldn't just disrespect anyone for being trans. They are um, what they are. And if you're happy in yourself, then uh, go for it. Sick, really. I mean, it's like an SNL sketch. It's, it's just like a joke. It's, it's, you can believe your own two eyes when you look at it and you see that it's a problem. You don't have to go into the weeds of, well, what do hormones do? And what about, you know, the height or the bone mass or whatever? You can list out all those facts of why a biological male is always gonna have an advantage, but you don't have to even do that because you can just see it. Like you look at Leah Thomas standing next to the women in the competition and it's like- Yeah, pull up Leah Thomas, like he's like three feet taller. Right. Whereas your bones look like a woman. So I think like biologically people say like, it's like, well, you look like a woman. I mean, look at this, it's ridiculous. <laughs> It's like Andre the Giant versus girls. 100%. And, you know, the other thing is I'm a double anomaly in the sense of usually trans people who actually transition like myself, they don't want to be on camera like this. They don't want to have a career in the public. They want to blend into society. So that's the other thing stacked against them is they don't speak out because what's in it for them, you know? So it's perfect to still their identity. Oh, it's perfect. It's a small group. And then even within that, the ones... It was funny because um, in my city... There's a trans, but um, massive shoulders, about six foot four. And, um, you know, he, she came up to myself and my brother and just towered, you know, just tapped us on the shoulder at the end of the day, friendly, um, bit of a joker at the end of the day. And, you know, but like I said, just towered over us. But so many people were embarrassed and, uh, um, you know, for, um, him, her, should I say, uh, at the end of the day, just trying to be polite. And, but it, 
uh, I know it, it, it offended people the way they were looking and you know you know half didn't know where to put the face but it is what it is um, at the end of the day but it, it, for me I did feel sorry um, uh, for him because like I said it, 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 it looked really really out of place but I looked at it at the end of the day you are what you are at the end of the day if you're happy doing it then you're happy doing it but a lot of you could see a lot of people uh, basically pointing looking and just couldn't understand it those that are really trans usually just want to live you know quiet lives whereas you know I'm out here running my mouth every day but that's just because I'm called to do it so all of us are trans all of us are being hit with synthetic chemicals, biologicals, radiologicals, electromagnetic. They're giving us shots, not just the COVID shots, that give us this uh, protein, the al alpha gal syndrome, where we can't eat meat anymore. They have mutated us. We are all mutants. We are all being attacked. We are all being targeted. This is the reality. And instead of hating people, uh, that 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 have been hit by this, we should talk to them, understand, because we're all in the same boat, in different perspectives, and, and, and it's crazy that that Blair White, since uh, Blair transitioned nine years ago, has been public fighting this before it was the top big issue in the last three four years, and it, it just shows you how the how God works in mysterious ways, and 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 how you have somebody. Uh, that, that they would love to be their spokesperson. I haven't asked you this, but I know. I bet you've been reached out to by Hollywood. I bet you've been reached out. When I really looked into it and read up about it, I do think um, sometimes when a man thinks that they are a woman, I think it's a genetic, um, can be a genetic thing while they've got those feelings and thoughts at the end of the day. Because it, 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 it sometimes think you can just go from, think from one to the other. Um, at that early age, they must be something um, neurological in the mindset, in um, the feelings, you know, in the hormones to make a male thinking that it's a female. This is what I, tru I truly think. I didn't think it before, but the older I've got and looked into it at the end of the day, into some of these cases, it's definitely true, especially what my um, friend said about a, um, a, a tired trans. Up to you about the power structure, you're an articulate, amazing person, a beautiful person. I, they would love for you to be their spokesperson, but instead you from day one have not been. And, and I think inherently at a spiritual level, I realize that God's working through you and it's, it's, it's an amazing thing. I mean, you, how do you feel about that statement? Well, thank you. I mean, I I struggle with my belief in God. I don't know how much I believe in God. I'm that's a journey I'm kind of on, and I'm actively trying to get there. Uh, but the older I get, the more I do, and the older I get, the more I feel like even though I'm actively choosing, you know, all the things that I do, you know, I've made a choice not to, you know, assimilate to the talking points of the left because it would get me more popularity and make no mistake i know for a fact it would right well talk about that I, i've never yeah. asked you but have you been i'm sure they've reached out to you oh for sure you know there's been just things over the years that are you know i think because obviously blair white has got her own show um she's got you know million or so subscribers very very talented in uh what she does and knows you know, what she wants to be. And that's not easy. It's not easy to come out and be someone different. Um, I think a lot of people are afraid what their family's gonna say, um, especially if there's like brothers who actually think, what the hell's going on here? Do we um, believe, uh, basically can't believe this, the father going mad. But um, it is what it is. I think we've got to um, learn as people to actually live with it that someone's different. And um, it's like what Blair said, there's so many different types of trans. I've been, you know, sort of asked to compromise my values for a lot of things. And I think now it's kind of understood that I'll never do that. I've been very consistent for almost a decade now. 
But uh, yeah, you know, that's why people think, you know, they call me sometimes a grifter or that I'm just like, you know, faking my opinions for popularity on the right as if I wouldn't have 10 times the popularity on the left if I had those talking points. You'd be hosting a national TV show. I would have maybe two or three shows on CNN, uh, but I would rather die than do that because I don't want to ever have to mute any part of myself to, to do that. But, you know, sometimes... Well, that's it. You could be their ultimate sales, sales lady, but you're not. Yeah, because that's demented. And again, I, I struggle with spirituality sometimes, but I, I, that is the devil. I mean, any, anytime you're pushing kids to hurt themselves, it's like, wow, you know, you're just evil. Right now, my entire purpose... I've done some videos of um, uh, basically trans having things done to them, um, like um, getting their penis removed and stuff. And they've regretted it, um, regretted it because obviously it's affected them in more ways than one, um, you know. So I always think um, when young kids are talking to their parents of um, who they are and what they want to do, seriously think about it because there are a few videos I've actually uh, uh, made where, um, you know, the person has had an operation and um, has regretted it because it, it, it's ruined their life and some of the people have taken their lives um, because it's affected them so much and depression's kicked in and stuff so I think it is very very important to really really seriously think about um, uh, basically if you are trans and you want to have an operation to really read up about it and look at other people who's you know who's you know ahead of you um, in that game just to see what they've just to put it out there and then each to his own but for me uh, at the end of the day look into it a little bit deeper and see how it may can affect you this is saving the kids from that because i realize you know people say like well what about you know why are you siding with evil conservatives because they're just going to be backlash and take away your you know right to transition and i'm like first of all i already did that like transition and second of all you could take anything away from me if it means helping a child. And the fact that more people don't have that mentality or that instinctual like inclination boggles my mind. And frankly, I don't even really like kids that much. I don't want kids in the future. I don't like love when kids are around, you know what I mean? But I still recognize the insane injustice that's being done to them under the guise- Well, they're parents. stealing their free will because they can't make a decision until they're older. Right, right. And we seem to understand that in every other area of life, right? Except for this one. Except yeah, for can't get cigarettes, can't get alcohol, can't join the military, but you can chop yourself up. Right. And if a child can consent to that, what can't they? I mean, there's a hell of a lot better argument for, you know, a 14-year-old to drive a car, but they're just taking it to the next level. So where do you, uh, there you are with, with, with Roseanne Barr recently. I love Where that. do you see this ending? You know, you see the whole Dylan Mulvaney thing and, and Azar Bush. I think personally, good point. I think a lot of people who are trans are going to do what they want to do and what they feel best to do. I think if the, their parents are against it and say no, they're more likely to do it, more likely to rebel and do it. And as they get older, I think they learn to sort of live with it. Some people can. You can see, obviously, uh, Blair White. I think she, in the early days, wasn't so sure, but had been through a lot. Uh, at the end of the day, but is able to sort of um, discuss it now and uh, put it out there on her shows, which obviously she's doing really well. Uh, I mean, if Anne has a bush had used a spokes, they probably would have increased their market cap. She'd be like, hey, I love America and I'm trans and, and, and don't hate me. That People go, oh, I get that. But it's, it's my phone background. Well, let me see it. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. If I was overhead a shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so overhead shot, guys. So this is what uh, they probably should have uh, done over at... Uh, over at uh, Bud Light, but they didn't do that. <laughs> right. We're gonna go to break. I'm gonna try to. What else do you want to hit with? Because this is an amazing interview, Blair. We're so glad you're here. And they'll go like, Jones is a hypocrite. He had Blair White on. He hates trans. No, no, I hate people targeting children, just like you do. Right, right. You know, it's. But I don't feel threatened when I go to sleep at night that you exist. I feel good you exist. Thank you. I mean, it's at the end of the day. You know, you're either contributing positively to the world or you're not. And what someone does with their own body without pushing on someone else, it's like. What does that do to anyone but themselves? Well, I'll go with the spirit. I don't feel threatened by you. I feel good. Because we're more than this, right? Exactly. We are. We have spirits. And I'm, I feel good. When I see Bill Gates, I go, I'm going to war. Right. There's an instinctual like, oh, that's the devil. 
that's the bad guy. Right, right. And because we are more than this. I, I struggle with spirituality, but I do believe in more than this. Well, we're gonna we're gonna get you to we're gonna we're gonna get you on board with Jesus. Let's we'll right back with Blair White. Stay with us. Think about what you wanted to say and say it now. Okay. Uh, you know, in my mind before I came here, I was thinking the main thing I would like to impart on people is individualism. You know, I believe in. This is my thoughts. You, you can't if people's got feelings, like I said going from like a boy to a girl you can't just say oh just it, it's a phase because like I said it can really um, affect the child um, at the end of the day we know like I said um, uh, what Alex Jones said earlier um, it can happen from birth um, at the end of the day where and obviously the child growing up realizing look I don't want to be a boy I want to be a girl it's just one of those things or um, I'm a boy and I want to um, uh, basically I'm, I'm a girl and I want to be a boy it's the other way around as well individualism not collectivism and that's how I've lived my life that's why I'm here and that's why I can be myself be a transsexual but not be part of the trans community not be part of a movement I think that everything sort of derails when people start seeing themselves through a collective and using we as a pronoun Right, like we should not be a pronoun. You shouldn't ever be talking for, from, or within a group. Speak for yourself, and also understand that, you know, there's nothing political about trans other than the fact that liberals have made it political, like they do with every group. You know, just like they make black political, they make gay political, they make straight white men political. Who we are isn't inherently part of some, you know, like political football or tribe like that. Who we are should be like closer to our true selves, which is so much more than all of that. Interesting. Um, I'd say for me, live your life and be happy in what you do. But like I said, if you're young and you're in that situation, talk about it with your parents at the end of the day. They may not agree with you, but um, time tells in, 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 in what you want to do and where you want to go. But like I said, I love individualism. At the end of that, I think it's important in the life, as long as you're not harming anybody, harming children, living a good life and being the best of you. That's what counts. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to Streamlight Entertainment and like the video. Thank you for the old subscribers and also the new subscribers. Take care. Have a good weekend.